Hey friends, welcome back. After leaving Palm Desert, we stopped in Anza for a vet appointment before continuing south towards El Centro. We got updated COVID boosters, made sure our paperwork was in order, exchanged dollars for pesos, and finished off the last of our meat and veggies. Because in the morning, it was border time. So the morning has moved pretty quickly, <laughs> a little too quickly for us to uh, keep up with the videos, but we are at the border now. We're crossing at Mexicali East, uh, going into Baja. And I guess we'll see if we have our ducks in a row. I think we do, but time will tell. Good news, we made it through. It was a little bit stressful just trying to figure out if we were doing things right or not. <laughs> but we got all our paperwork. I think we messed up a little bit with our FMM, which is kind of like the tourist visa, uh, just since we're going to need to fly back to the States and, well, David two times, me one time. So anyhow, it was a little bit more complicated than we thought it was going to be, but got it all figured out. Everyone was helpful and very kind and patient with our poor, poor Spanish skills. <laughs> But we're here, we're in, and we're driving south. We made it to San Felipe and got some groceries and stopped and got a very late lunch, <laughs> but we had some really yummy carnitas tacos and we're back on the road. We've got a little over an hour left and we should be to our campsite, which we hear has some nice uh, natural hot springs out in the water. So we're looking forward to it. We made it to our camp spot for the night. It's a pretty good one for our first night in Baja. We made it to the ocean and we made it in before it got dark, which is very good too. <laughs> but we're set up here. It's a nice little spot. We've got some water, which we're guessing isn't potable, but we can use it for washing things. We've got a little grill if we needed it, a palapa. Yeah, and they say actually when the water line is about at that green boat over there, uh, the heat from the hot spring actually makes the water temperature about perfect. So I'm guessing all that over there is actually hot spring. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on the water level and maybe we'll get to take a dip. Good morning. Just wanted to show you our views again this morning. It's a nice sunny day. It's warming up pretty quick. I haven't actually checked the temperature, but it feels like it's probably already close to 70, or at least it feels like it. Pretty quiet. Tyga is crying. She's ready to go for a walk. <laughs> Have to get her out. So after a little more research, we think the hot springs are down that road over across the little bay. I'll call it a bay. I'm not sure if that's right. But I think we're going to pack up soon and head over there. See what we see.
water's starting to come in. So we're gonna head to the hot springs, see if the water temp's good yet. All right, there's our sign. So we just gotta figure out where to park. Smells like a hot spring. Please don't take your shower here. Oh yeah. Oh perfect. Yeah. Look at that. Cute little seashells. So the water comes up in there. Oh yeah, that is hot. Look at that steam. <laughs> it is not yet time. At least for that pool. <laughs> we'll have to wait a little bit. Yeah, we could probably dip our toe in over here. I don't know, it looks steamy. Hot? Very hot. <laughs> Did you burn yourself? No, not quite that hot. I bet it's like 120 degrees though. I don't think we can get any yet. <laughs> Luckily for us, high tide is around two o'clock. Yeah, I'd probably have to wait till the water comes in. It's close, yeah. but not over these rocks yet. Yeah, maybe in about an hour, hour or two, uh, it'll be cool enough to get in. <laughs> Ready, girl. Expensive for the area, um, just with the amenities you get, but 
we liked it well enough and you got a hot spring and camp and it was about $30 USD a night. So kind of um, laughable when we think about some of the spots we looked at staying back in California with hot springs where you just camp and it was far more expensive than that <laughs> and probably pretty similar amenities but I guess that's just the difference U.S. versus Mexico. So we're on the road and hopefully this will be a pretty quick drive and we'll see where we end up. Gotta take it slow. Lots of big rocks on this road and a little bit of washboarding too. Not the worst road we've been on, but not the best. Look at these dogos. Yeah, oh boy, we got somebody coming. <laughs> Is that road better? Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. This one may be good. I can't actually see this one. The road down is a little steep. Yes, and there's some pretty big dips. I'm testing out the GMC hill descent feature again. Uh, we use it once, I think, near uh, Whistler. Whistler, yeah. But it's doing pretty good. Nice and steady. Should be good though once we uh, get down here. Yeah, I think we're about past the worst ones. Pick a little palapa. Set up camp. campsite and they've actually got a little restaurant here on site. Uh, when we walked up uh, all the doors were actually closed but the people that run the place live nearby and they actually saw us walking up to the restaurant so she came in and opened up the doors for us and she's back there cooking now so uh, we'll let you know how good the food is. Here we go. How mm. is it? Very good. <laughs> about to head out from our beach camp, one of our beach camps, and it's going to be a big driving day. We are heading down south past Puerto Negro, um, and we're going to try to make it a little closer to our next beach destination, but I don't think we're going to make it quite there today. It's just pretty far. So the plan is to stop somewhere in the middle. I've got a couple ideas, but we'll just see how the day goes. It's been nice here though. When we got here, it was quiet and 
Uh, there's been a couple other American campers, made some friends. It was nice to hear their stories and learn about them, hear what they're doing. We tried out the restaurant last night. It's pretty yummy. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna head out today. It got pretty windy yesterday. It was calm the first day we were here. Pretty windy yesterday and last night. But the winds died down a bit today, thankfully. I think that today and tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit cooler. We'll see what happens with the wind. Pretty quiet here though. Everybody else is already headed out. Soon we will too. cactuses and some of these I guess there's two different kinds well at least if not more but those really tall skinny ones look straight out of Dr. Seuss so cool they just keep getting bigger lush here. We've only driven, I don't know, maybe about an hour. Yeah, hour and a half. Hour and a half, David says. So the landscape has changed a little bit. Not too much. Definitely a lot of mountains. Fewer rocks over here, but just as pretty. Driving culture is definitely a little bit different uh, in Mexico than it is in the States. Uh, we're on a relatively narrow two-lane road. It's actually got just gotten a little bit wider now, but uh, they have the same signals and markings on the road for when you can pass. Like right now, we've got the dashed yellow line, so it's legal to pass, but really whether that dashed yellow line is there or not doesn't really mean a lot, especially to the semi-drivers. Even back where the road was more narrow, we were coming around a turn and a semi came blowing past me, going probably 20 kilometers an hour faster than we were. And I mean, I feel pretty wide on this road. I feel like I've only got a few inches on either side of the truck before I'm either in oncoming traffic's lane or off the road. Uh, so it was very tight and I got over as far as I could on the right shoulder. Uh, and luckily we didn't hit or anything, but uh, definitely makes me sweat a little bit when the uh, semi comes barreling past me. We have our first construction zone <laughs> in Baja. Luckily the road is fairly wide. I don't know if it's wide enough for me and that semi though. <laughs> no, it's not great, is it? Yeah, well, I'll uh, wait for him to come on through. I'll sit here at this wider spot. Looks like he's trying to get over, but I'd rather just wait. Two wide loads, a little tough. I'd say it'd really be tough if you had two semis coming from each direction. Yeah. I'm sure they do it at full speed though. I'm sure they do. <laughs> Good morning. So we didn't update you guys much last night. Um, it was it was quite a long driving day. We got some groceries, filled up gas. I tried our hand at figuring out the water situation, <laughs> which worked out pretty well. But it, anyway, it just ended up being a long day. So we got into camp fairly, I guess fairly late last night. Um, it had just gotten dark, but no problems there. We stayed right outside of San Ignacio, 
um, at this really nice place uh, that's kind of like a little oasis. Got some water. Well, we've mostly been driving through the desert, so this is a welcome change. It's super peaceful here. Yesterday we made it into our camp spot a little bit later than we wanted to. Uh, it was actually after dark, which made it uh, somewhat challenging to find our camp spot. Uh, it was off one of the roads and kind of a narrow uh, driveway to get out to the camping area, so we actually drove past it on our first way there and had to find a spot to turn around, which uh, with our big rig is never fun or easy. But uh, it was all okay and we made it in. Last night, since it was already dark, we didn't really get to enjoy any of the scenery of our camp spot, but uh, it's definitely a pretty awesome little place. You hear the ducks off in the distance there, but there's all kinds of palm trees. We got this nice little pond, all kind of ducks hanging out on the pond. Last night we could hear all kinds of bullfrogs croaking. The cats this morning, we opened up the windows on the camper and they were very intrigued as they sat and looked out the window at all the different types of wildlife. This camp spot in particular is still actually doing a little bit of rehab. There was a hurricane that came through this area probably around a month ago or so. Uh, there's a little bit of remnants uh, and you can see kind of some piled up trees and brush and one of the employees is still cleaning up over there now. Uh, but they're definitely doing a good job getting everything cleaned up and still accepting guests in the meantime, which is awesome for us because it's a great little spot. Over there, you can see a volcano. We're getting closer to that volcano so you can get a better look at it. The volcano is called Volcan. Las Tres Virgenes, so the Three Virgins Volcano. I would look up to see if it's active or read a little bit about it, but we don't have any service right now, so that'll have to wait. But it's really big, it's super cool to look at. It seems like it has that uh, crater. crater, yeah, that little dip at the top is super cool. Super cool as long as it doesn't uh, become active, <laughs> but surely we'll be okay. We made it to Mulehe and we're gonna stop and get some lunch. It's a pretty cute little town. This is our first small street with the camper and the truck. David is navigating it quite well. It's not too terrible just yet, but uh, definitely a little bit more narrow. Lots of tiendas. Keep left. Then and some Christmas right. stores set up. You can go and get your Christmas decorations. Looks like they've got a little playground. All kinds of things. Really cute. Got our lunch here. So first up we've got some bean soup. We hear it's pretty yummy here. I'm going to give it a try. Waiting on our tacos still. Eagerly awaiting some tacos on Taco Tuesday. First bite. Let's see me. We've got some uh, spectators here that are excited to see how the tacos are as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're back in the car after lunch. You're good. A little tight right here. Made it through. But that was super yummy. Oh my gosh. Really enjoyed it. We're heading on to the beach. We've got about another hour. Look at this big cactus. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Gosh. Looks like they got Christmas lights on it. They do. <laughs> they do. Very festive. Pulling into what we think we're gonna use as our campsite tonight. It's right on the beach and it's so pretty. We decided against the first one. It was super pretty, but there wasn't a lot of uh, parking options, or we'd be right next to some people with a really big dog. <laughs> You can see the camping spot pretty well from the road, so this uh, camping area is definitely a little more tucked in the mountain. So, oh, look, there are a couple RVs. Oh my god, <gasps> I can't believe people had RVs down on this road. Wow, this, uh, this should do well. That place ended up being full, too. Luckily, our third attempt was just right. We'll leave you here for today. Tune in next time to see more of this beautiful spot. If you liked this video, let us know by liking and subscribing. Here's to enjoying the journey. Cheers, friends.